Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis for Rule Britannia, where we are playing as the Gaelic realm of Canada. Uh, we've just finished conquering um, most of the American West Coast. Uh, apparently we have some separatists happening at the moment. Um, so we're going to do... I think those are... Oh yeah, they were just little single stacks that were left over from the war. We're going to deal with that really quick while we uh, finish coring everything. There's a plague. We have to do something, obviously. Yeah, these are just the, the little one-stack armies that uh, Castilian California uh, trained before the war ended, so they ended up turning into separatists. <clears throat> there we go. Nope, oh, you made it. Got away. There we go. Battle of Klamath. All right. So our next order of business is to finish coring all of this stuff. Um, and then we're going to probably go after Britain. Um, I'm not that... Not super interested in Pacifico Norte. I think we might let, let the Spanish have that. So we're going to have to figure out where we want to stage our invasion of Newfoundland from. Um, I think we actually have a high enough supply limit in most of our provinces now that it's not going to be that big of a deal. So we'll definitely we'll send one prong of the invasion to invade from Manitoba. And I think maybe, yeah, that'll work out. I wonder if we can just wipe out British Louisiana, like, super fast. Oh, we have to break our alliance with England first. Okay. Um, I'm going to make all these cores real quick. Lost trade protection against Portugal. Trade policy success. Fantastic. Line of the merchant classes, cool. Are we ahead of them in great power? We are ahead of them by one, by one place in great power. But it's a pretty good gap. Like, yeah, we're 1632, they're 1365, so we're pretty well, pretty well ahead. Um, great power wise. Yeah, imperialism, all that good stuff. We've got rebellions happening. Our alliance with the Netherlands is about to break. Um, hostile attitude. We consider the same one province to be of vital interest. What one province would that be? Is it this one? All right. Well, we're just gonna we're just gonna say we don't care about any of this. We want to keep our alliance with the Netherlands because we're about to break our alliance with Britain. Um, however, we are going to claim all of British Louisiana. Uh, are the Dutch going to get mad if we talk about St. James Bay? Also, we don't want any of this. You guys can have that. Um, we are going to claim all of St. James Bay. Or Hudson Bay. Rather. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what they think of that. We can boost their trust. Hopefully that'll stop the alliance from breaking. We can improve some relation. Uh, they want a, a lot of provinces that we have. I mean, that's going to be tough cookies. But... We're going to maintain our diplomat with the Netherlands. Uh, low diplo reputation. Canadian Navy strength. Why you got to do us like that, guys? We're not going to have any great power allies. What is our current diplomatic reputation? 
Overextension and diplomatic faux pas. Well, we're gonna fix that. Um, also, how's our Navy doing? Um, where is our Navy, by the way? Our Grand Navy is here. Um, how's that? How's that for having us too small of a Navy? Uh, we're also gonna beef up this fleet. 32, 33, sounds good, and then uh, when our armies get in place, we'll look at uh, beefing them up a little bit too. How are you taking attrition here? The supply limit is 45. So we've got 15 to 10, 15 to 10, 15 to 10. You guys please drill. Um, do we have a leader slot open? No, we do not. So we're going to have to combine two of these armies. Oh, it's fine. We won't worry about drilling the, the uh, spare stack. There will be blood. We've finished converting the heretics of Pueblo. Which again, as somebody from Colorado, I find that mildly hilarious. Let's, uh, let's enlighten these Confucians. All right, we have new Castilian separatists all up in here. Will we get there in time to stop them occupying a bunch of our shit? No, we will not. Are they doomed anyway? Yes, they are. Oh, yes, they are. Yep. Figures. Figures. Okay. Uh, who's our current dude? Yeah, we're just gonna keep rotating guys, I think. Robert McTaggart! And we do want to finish off this idea group. Fantastic. Got some siege ability going on. Netherlands is still going to break their alliance with us, it looks like. How big are they? They're not even a great power. Why would you break your alliance with a great power? Don't... Don't hate us. Please. <sighs> I guess it'll make things more interesting. Okay, why is there this random 10 stack that's... You know what, I want... Where are you going? Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, you... Here, here... Here. It's just malarkey happening is what's going on right now. Absolute malarkey. Apparently we can't convert this because... Or we can't court because they occupied it, that's why. Oh shit, there's also separatists over here. I did not even notice these separatists. Not allowed to have rebellions in two places at once. Wait, are those the same separatists? Did they just fucking teleport up there? What happened? No, that must be a different stack. Yeah, okay. Hmm. 
This is probably an ill-advised uh, fight here, but we have a better general and much better troops. We are attacking into shitty terrain, but look at that! Look at that, the Battle of Mexico. We were greatly outnumbered. Uh, yeah, we lost 10,000 and change. They lost their whole army, more or less. Look at that. Convert some more Confucians. Alright, let's deal with these guys. Freedom of the press. Um, with the spread of popular literacy, a great number of cheap minor publications, pamphlets, chapbooks, and similar have begun to circulate in greater, greater numbers. While many of them are just popular ballads, stories, or gossip, some are thinly veiled attempts at criticizing the pillars of the state uh, and their religious establishment. The spread of particularly immoral and political ballad has led us led to demands that we limit the press more harshly and that we take disloyal printers and their products into our care. Um, I don't want to lose one innovativeness or gain two unrest for ten years. Um, I think we're going to have to forbid the publication because we're dealing with too many revolts right now. Literally censorship. TJ is a fascist, confirmed. Hey, okay, my C key to banish these are not working right now. For some reason. Is it because I have an army selected? There we go. Literally, literally fascist. Okay. Sweet, great, amazing, awesome. All right. Liberation of California. And we're going to make this a core. We're going to send you guys back up to where you belong. Drill this army. Netherlands didn't end up breaking our alliance with us, did they? Nope, they did. They broke their alliance. And uh, Britain is now allied with the Netherlands and the Iroquois. Well, the Iroquois are our boys. Uh, so we don't care about that anymore. Um, yeah, the Iroquois should never, ever break their alliance with us. They trust us utterly. Um, let's see. Okay, so... Our current slate of alliances... We've got the Mayas. They're, they're kind of 50-50. Um, we lost our alliance with France, and we're, or with the Netherlands. We're about to break our alliance with Britain. Which is going to leave us... Oh, there we go. That's what I was going to look at. That's going to leave us with no other great power allies. So let's see who Britain's current enemies are. France, Castile, and Russia. Um, France absolutely hates us. Castile absolutely hates us. Russia is a potential ally. Um, let's, uh, let's pursue that idea. Where are they in the great power rankings? They're number two, so that, they would actually be a pretty good ally. Austria blobbed like a mofo. Wow, look at that. You got the Habs blob, the Auto blob, and the, the Russian blob 
competing for space. Okay. Everybody, everybody doing what you're supposed to be doing. Cool. So we managed to piss off like all of the colonial powers. Tell you what, if you guys ally with us, we'll give you Alaska. We don't give a fuck. Also, it looks like Korea took some... Oh no, they already owned those. I mean, it is the California trade node. Uh, we might want to take the rest of the Straits of Georgia. Just to keep our states neat. But yeah, the rest of that, you got anyone can have it, really. There's no, like center of trade or anything important up there, I don't think. All right. These guys are good. These guys need an additional infantry. More things are becoming part of our patrimony. Yeah. Finally converted those heretics. Sitting at 67% religious unity. Gonna claim Defender of the Faith. We're gonna drill these guys. Advisor has died, and it's our common dot. So how long is it going to take us to get another one? Oh, there we go. Duff Knox. Sounds like a really weird rap name, but we will take it. I'm also getting a little bit of like frame rate stutter here. If that continues, I might pause and see if I can get that fixed before we continue. Debate in Parliament. Do we have the missionary one? Nope, we don't. Uh, so we're going to do Army, Navy, Tradition, Decay, Bribe, some MPs. We're going to give some support. Uh, going to promote civil services. Civil service, uh, military support, diplomatic support, military support, private MP. 86%, that's good enough. You guys are going to drill. All right. Rush up. How are you feeling about that prospect of that alliance? Distance between borders is an issue. Uh, Portugal hates us. Who else is a great power at all that might be able to help us? The Ottomans? Uh, nope. We might just have to fight everybody. That might end up being uh, how this goes. Um, yeah, so we're going to break our alliance with Britain, um, right now. We are going to call this diplomat back. I don't know if this is just late game slowdown or what. But, uh, 
we're gonna dissolve this alliance. Um, and I think that gives us a truce with. Does that give us a truce with their colonial nations? Maybe, maybe not. Manpower is looking not too awful. Alright, so we're going to declare war on British Louisiana. It's fine, we're not going to lose any stability or anything. Let's go down to speed three. Now this might just be some late game slowdown going on, but yeah, if it, if it keeps up, I'll definitely uh, just do like a restart of my PC to see if that fixes it. All right. This is going to be an easy war. How's our Navy doing? We're up to 35 ships of the line with one more on the way. At least we're going to be conquering some Protestant territory now. So we won't have to continue to sink our uh, religious unity. We still have some Catholic strongholds like really close to the capital. Up here in the Ohio Valley area. After all this time. For all this time that it's been under our control. Haida Separatists. They will have nowhere to hide up after we are done with them. British Louisiana is attempting to raise more troops. Oh, and we have Chinook Separatists, apparently, too, somewhere. Oh, okay, these are just two different tribes. Got it. Yep, okay, that's fine. Alright, come under the occupation. We might just be able to fully occupy them before these you know, little stacks actually become a problem. We are maxed out on Diplos. We're going to promote some mercantilism. We like it so much we're going to do it twice. Conversion successful. Alright, so let's sort by religious unity. Let's go after the juiciest target. Lack of officers. Uh, we're going to increase recruitment. We don't want to lose any professionalism. Yeah, we're going to fully occupy them before this becomes an issue. Eden Forbes has corrupt connections. Who is this dude? Is he the president? He is our... Uh, He's our uh, traitor. We try to keep our administration free of dishonest individuals, but we cannot always account for the friends and contacts which go to them where they are. Eden Forbes has unfortunately turned out to be a good example of the problems that follow this, being skilled and personable but somewhat gullible in his choice of associates. Recent investigations have revealed that much of our well-built trade network relies on bribes, smuggling, and other dubious activities to reach its current level of efficiency. Eden Forbes claims to have known nothing of this, which is likely true. Nevertheless, if we decide to expose an end to this, the responsibility will be his to take. Um, and if it works, it works. I don't give a shit. What idea did it say we could unlock? Army career. Uh, we are going to gain... Yeah, we're going to safeguard the ancient traditions of our officer corps, which is going to make the burghers slightly irritated at us. But we are now at 65.5% army tradition, which is really good. Uh, 
last drop of peasant blood. There we go. Now we can get that land force limit modifier. Squamish is back under our control. Yeah, these guys are all just going to turn into annoying separatist rebels as soon as we end the war. I'm just going to continue drilling these guys. All right. You fought Canada, and Canada won. That was pretty bad. That Even by my standards, that was pretty bad. British Louisiana is ours. We core all the things. And uh, let's go deal with these uh, separatists. As we always do. Harsh. And then I think we'll just start the war with Newfoundland pretty much immediately because it's not like we're worried. Confucian zealots in Baja, California. Alright, you stay here. I want you to force march your ass all the way down there and deal with those guys. We almost rid ourselves of Confu Confucianism, I think. This isn't even a Confucian province. It's Korean Protestant. Apparently there were still some Confucian zealots hanging out there. Alright. Chasing British loyalists across the plains. Does that change the... Yeah, it changes the religion of the province. Great! Wonderful. At least we finally conquered something that made our religious unity go up instead of down. Actually, you guys should be force marching. Serious business here. You gotta catch these dudes. They're bad dudes, man. Are, is he marching to meet us? I think he's marching to meet us. James Campbell and his family. Merchant family from Sinclair has come to greatly expand our long-range trade with Castile. Uh, fantastic. Um, influential trading in California. Uh, or he becomes a skill to trader. Uh, let's, let's do this. All right, well, we won that convincingly. Let's go... I don't know where this guy's going, so we're going to try to meet him up in Kentucky or something. And we are... Yes, we're coring everything. Which is great. We'll get there in time to stop the uh, Confucian Zealots from taking a second province, which is also good. Fantastic. Alright, cool. We caught those a-holes. Actually, you know what? We should attack... We should attack from the east simultaneously. So Manitoba, yeah, that's how we'll anchor our invasion. Military leader has left us. Hopefully we can roll a really good one. James Law, he is the law. He has a fire stat of five, and he's coming to fuck you up. James Law. All right. Rebellions are dealt with for the moment. So it's time to invade Newfoundland. 
converted the heretics of Pomo, did it say? Oh no, we already converted Pomo. We're working on Miwok right now. Let's see, if this is a good place for an episode break, I might pop out here for a sec once we get everyone in position, just because I'm pretty sure if I shut down some chrome tabs or something, I can uh, mitigate the amount of CPU sluggishness we're, we're seeing here. Yay, Canada! Our name is now, now written more curvy. I know there will be people in the comments who will want me to uh, conquer the Iroquois just so that our name can be written nicer on the map. I just want you to know that you're all evil colonialists. Not that I'm any better. Yeah, we're gonna have to drop, like, probably expansion ideas. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to drop expansion ideas to pick up religious, probably. Just so that we can, uh, yeah, we'll do one more military candidate to get Esprit de Corps. He's a zealot. That's actually very good. Because, yeah, we need to be able to convert all of this at some point. Or I think we actually were planning on going humanist. We'll probably stick with humanist. Here's our amazing fleet. I think I want to station them a little further north. Oh, we can upgrade some ships. And also upgrade these ships. And then send them back to protect trade in. Ooh, Gulf of St. Lawrence. Oh shit, the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean, motherfuckers. We're going to get some major, major trade income boost from that. Oh yeah, and our army force limit just went way up. Alright, I'm getting all these armies in, in position and then we'll do an episode break and I'll see if I can get this to run a bit smoother. Alrighty. That's going to uh, be it for now, and we'll be right back.